Welcome back everybody. It's Friday. It's the second. I've lost all track of time and space because this week was crazy. I don't know if anybody else felt it, but I felt it and it was nuts. So it is Friday. It is Fortune Fridays. Let's see what the weekend has in store for us because it's going to be a good weekend. We're going to make it. We're going to manifest it. It's going to be amazing. So let's see what this weekend has for us. As I drop all my cards. Theme of the week. Theme of the week. Okay. What does the collective need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to focus on this weekend? What's in store? Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. All right. Okay. Kind of seems like the theme of the week is going into the weekend, so you know that's great. <laughs> six and six. All right. Ten of Swords. Okay, let's focus on these ones. Ten of Swords going into the Ace of Wands, into the Ten of Wands. There's some big endings coming up. I don't know if anybody's ending some relationships. I don't know if we're ending bad friendships. I don't know if we're ending jobs. I don't know if we're just deciding to end really shitty situations, but it's all for the better. Cause that Ace of Wands is like, you know, you can't do this anymore. We know we can't do this anymore. We know we can't go through this anymore. This isn't serving us. This could even just be like deciding not to sleep in anymore. <laughs> Cause with the 10 of Wands there, it's like, you know what? I'm not giving myself enough time in the morning, so I got to stop doing this. But it seems like it's a really good weekend to put into motion future plans, which is really good. Because then we also have our Six of Pentacles and our Six of Cups. So this is coming from a very neutral and loving place as well. So this is like definitely focusing on what serves us going forward. So maybe that week has really affected everybody. Maybe it's really kind of tapped in and made us all kind of realize that what does not serve us does not serve us, right? We can't just make exceptions for everybody for the rest of our lives. We can go about it gently and lovingly, but that doesn't mean we have to like keep it, keep it around. Okay, I wanna pull an angel card just as clarifying. Oh, four, three. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do manifestation. Woo, okay. <laughs> It's my favorite thing to do. Let's manifest, everybody. Let's manifest this weekend. Whatever manifesting is to you, doesn't mean you have to sit in silence for 30 minutes meditating. Doesn't mean you have to light certain candles. Kitty agrees. You can do whatever you want. If it's having a cup of coffee in the morning saying, this weekend's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna make a bunch of money. That's all you have to do. <laughs> That's manifesting. You just have to believe it, right? So whatever you want to do to manifest, manifest your biggest and highest wellness into this uh, universe, into your existence, into your plane of reality. Whatever you choose to call it, whatever you want to do, do it. Manifest away. Treat yourself better. Get rid of old patterns. That's a form of manifesting. All right. Enjoy, everybody. <laughs> I have to go play with the kitten because he is having a week as well. And I love you all. Links are in the bio or links are in the description. I don't know why I keep saying bio. You're welcome. Book a reading. Come check in. Let's see how the rest of the week goes. Hope everybody enjoys. Bye.